Gamer Dude 2088, and today we're going to talk about how to improve your symmetric game, part one. And in this one, we're going to discuss what does symmetric do, her weapons and how you use them, and where she fit in your team composition. So let's get right into it. I want to first start off by saying symmetric is a shield worth 25 hit points to each character on the team, excluding herself, unless you have two symmetrics where you can give each other a shield, and the shield is regenerative. Then, with her weapon, an energy-based weapon that has relatively short range, the primary fire, however, has three levels to it, which at level 1, it does 30 DPS per second, Level 2, it does 60 DPS per second. And level 3, it does 120 DPS per second. And I believe it's every 3 to 4 seconds, that's when it increases in level. Her secondary fire shoots an energy wall, which does anywhere from 25 to 125 DPS, depending on how, how long you charge it. Then, the main killer with her is her centuries. Her sentry is doing 25 DPS per second, which has a really wide range and can do the total of 150 DPS per second. She has six centuries that she can place total, which makes Symmetra a really difficult character to deal with if you get caught in her kill room. All of these weapons in her arsenal charges her ultimate, and which when you get her ultimate, allows you to place a teleporter. The teleporter will open up a teleporter at your spawn point for your team to pass through to the point where you put your teleporter. Now, I know I had the problem in the beginning. I didn't know which way the teleporter was facing. But if you look down as you place your teleporter, you will see arrows pointing towards you. Meaning, if someone teleports through there, the arrows pointing towards you is the way that they will be facing. So when you set it down, know that it's facing, looking towards you. So you're facing the opposite direction, and it's facing towards you. That's the way they will spawn, if that makes any sense. I would also like to add that you have six teleports total. So be sure to let your team know how many teleports you have left. And while your teleporter is open, you can't charge another teleporter. So once you're out of teleporters, you're able to charge your next teleporter again. Keeps it fair and balanced that way. Now that we got all the geek shit and what Symmetra does out the way, let's get into how do we use her. Basically, if you're just starting off, you want to be in a building like this, camping a room. So is to create like a choke point for the enemy. So when they try to pass through, they just get melted. And it's like really nothing that they can do. Because the centuries slow the enemy targets. So now that you have all these centuries on the target. As well as you putting out DPS from her weapon. It's kind of hard for the opponent to do anything. Now you're probably thinking, where does she fit on my team? Defense primarily. Now, I have seen people use her offensively, even though I don't recommend it. And I haven't seen it used well on offense. But you want to use her defensively because her centuries are really powerful and they wreak havoc. It is really hard for the opponent to survive once you create a strong enough choke point. This first video was pretty much a basic rundown for Symmetra, just for the players that's looking to get into Symmetra that hasn't tried her yet. But for us more intermediate and advanced players, I'm going to get more in depth into some of the things that I do plan as Symmetra that you can probably apply to your game to make you better. What's up gamers? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so because I put videos out like this all the time. You can check that description box below for all of the links to all of my social media so you can stay tuned into everything GamerDude2088 related. And while you're down there, take a look at that comic box and leave some comments because your feedback is greatly appreciated. And this is the GamerDude signing out. Gamers United. 
Deuces.